I am still watching it. I can't get enough. It's like visual eating and I am addicted and I can't get away from the table. Hi there, I'm Will Poulter and I play Bobby Jones in the upcoming Why Didn't They Ask Evans. The movie that I've watched over and over again is Hook. It was my favourite film growing up as a child. Robin Williams' performance was so impactful and uh, you know he, he remains one of my favourite actors of all time. Uh, it's my go-to for sort of nostalgic comfort and I think the sort of eternally uh, attractive idea of never growing up and being a kid forever, you know, really spoke to me and kind of still still does. Why didn't they ask Evans was the last book that really uh, made me laugh. Um, you know, and I think the script, if I may say even more so, just because Hugh Laurie kind of punched up the, the comedy, but that was the last thing I, I read that really had me, uh, really had me giggling. My acting hero is Robin Williams. Always has been, I think always will be. My last TV binge was Top Chef. And I confess that I'm still, I haven't stopped binging. I'm still on the binge. It's like visual eating and I am addicted and I can't get away from the table. The song that always makes me feel better is Bo Burnham's Inside soundtrack. Soundtrack from his Netflix special Inside. It's full of songs that cheer me up and make me laugh and uh, I've been listening to it a lot recently and, and, and watching that definitely made me feel good on a number of occasions. I love the Step Up movies. I am a sucker for a dance battle in the rain in a parking lot. I mean, anywhere really. And rain is just a bonus. I love, I just marvel at people who are able to dance that well in unison in a group and kind of make it this sort of competitive sport in a way and at the same time theatre and it's just so cool and I'm just watching people doing things with their limbs that I just know I can't do and I love Moose Moose is my favourite character it's just so effortlessly cool and he's the dude who you know plays it in a really brilliant way where he sort of comes across as quite kind of like unassuming and then as soon as he dances just this confidence kind of erupts out of him and I, I, I love that I think Viola Davis, I think she's unbelievable and some people would, would say, what are you talking about, she's not underrated, but I, I say that purely because I don't think there's any overrating her, I think she's just outrageously good and in virtually everything I've ever seen her in, um, like quite recently Fences um, was, was phenomenal and I loved her in Widows and um, I've, I've loved her in everything I've ever, you know, seen her in. She's, she's phenomenal. Oh my gosh. It's, oh, I can't even really say because I'm going to be in so much trouble. Classic TV show that I've never watched. I've never watched Kirby Enthusiasm. Which I know is so bad. That's so bad. I'm saying that live from New York. I might not be able to walk the streets after this. I've never seen Curb, really bad. I think Robin Hood was when I was a kid. I really loved the spirit of Robin Hood and what what he stood for. Um, that was a fictional character that I always really liked. You know, the music I listened to in preparation for a role would, would, would very much depend on the on the role, but there are some kind of staples when it comes to um, you know, anything I, I do, um, like my favourite artist is Kendrick Lamar, so um, I'll always have some Kendrick Lamar on my iPod, whatever I'm, whatever I'm doing. But, um, you know, music that I'm listening to in preparation for a specific role would just, would just vary depending on what that role is, what kind of uh, era we're talking about, the interests of the character. Um, you know, I remember when I did Black Mirror, like I listened to a soundtrack that was kind of subscribed or prescribed to me i should say by um by the creators and that was like a lot of 80s kind of technological sort of music um and then you know on guardians of the galaxy at the moment like james gunn's been very kind enough to 
share the soundtrack with me and uh, you know, I've been listening to some of that and it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, Maya Angelou, Kendrick Lamar, and Anthony Bourdain. Anti-Bullying Pro, uh, they're an organization that um, I've been associated with for nearly 10 years now and they just do amazing work as far as trying to change the culture within schools and uh, other environments to um, kind of uh, eradicate bullying and promote a kind of happier and um, safer environment for, for people. I would love to play a chef. I think if there was a role I wish I had, it would be a it would be a chef. Uh, I'd really love to step into that world and get good at cooking and uh, and 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 play a chef. There's a film called Victoria, which is a one take film, quite a small independent. Um, Leia Costa is the lead of it, and it's for me like one of the best films I've ever seen and I don't hear people like talking about it enough and again people might be screaming at me going what are you talking about it's not underrated but I only say it just because I again I don't think it can be rated highly enough I think it's awesome right now still watching a lot of Top Chef and uh, still still going back to uh, Bo Burnham's Inside a lot um, and I'm uh, yeah, those are those are the two main things, and obviously I'll be watching. Why didn't they ask Evans coming out on Britbox very soon?